Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I wanna show you in Canva today how to do all of these designs. It's really, really simple. It's gonna make me look like a fraud because <laughs> all of these are already templates where you just go in and edit. But before we get to that, before I switch my screen, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I like um, and I think I'll be incorporating, which is instead of doing the color all the way to the edge, I sort of like having the white outline. Um, I like it just because it feels more like designed, I guess, like more complete for me somehow. And then the other thing though is, um, and this is not, you know, based on your preference, is that the photo paper is white, right? It's white, it's double-sided, so it's white on the inside, white on the outside. And so if you don't fold it perfectly up here, which I mean, you can see a little bit right here. So you see that white? It's minor. And then back here, oh, back here you can see it a little bit more. So here, let me put it against this so you can kind of see that's not my grid. You can see a little white, so tiny, but then you you just don't have it at all, right? Then you can't tell here if you do a white border. Um, the other reason is, so my printer, a lot of times, when I did this one, I said print, you know, the full sheet. Don't give me um, the edges, right? Like print all the way to the edge, and it did. However, I've done that for others and it didn't. So it's like, I don't know, sometimes the settings are kind of weird. It's almost easier, more foolproof to do the white. So, all right, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Let's switch it. Oh, um, do I need to? Oh, I mean, you can just see when there's white. It just feels more professional, I guess. I'm still testing this out. So let's switch it over and, oh, wait a minute. Is this the one I want? I do want this. Oh, you can see how messy everything is. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot when I switch over. I want to show you this. Okay, so give me a split second to move everything. All right, so here's Canva. I love Canva because I'm, and I think this might appeal to a lot of you guys, where we're techie, right? We have our iPhone and our Apple Watch, and we use all these apps, but not techie in a sense where I can use Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, like all that stuff is really hard for me. Inkscape. So Canva is sort of like um, super easy, but they have all these designers doing these templates. So you can see, look at all these templates that you can choose from. This is the one that I started with and then I changed, I mean, this is such a beautiful card. I love this for a wedding, but what I did was then I switched it over to this. I made it smaller so it's a chip bag. I still wasn't really good with this because her name got cut off a little bit when I folded it over. It probably should be. I didn't want to be totally centered because it's a little off, like with, you know, from being so short and her name being so long. So anyway, just a lesson learned there. But um, all right, so let's go from the beginning. I'm going to go over here. So when you're in the home page, you, um, you can see all the different... Um, templates so there's a different one for Instagram posts as Instagram story because you know it's the dimensions are different so this is great and sometimes you can do an Instagram post and then just copy and resize to the Instagram story and then download it so you can see you know I've been using it quite a bit just because it, you know my um, my feed is messy because it's just my products and my projects so I've been trying to you know clean it up a bit all right so for me what I like to do is um, again you can search like I've done happy just to see what it gets me and then you get all these like bright and colorful templates um, you can search by your actual size that you want to do. I mean, seriously, how cute is this? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to put something together that looks this good, right? And then on the, if you wanted to use this one, you can change the word enjoy to something else, like happy birthday or Charlotte or happy, whatever. And then you can easily insert her picture. So it just is so easy to design. I mean, there's so many so many different things like how cute is this for a chip bag today actually so i'm gonna click on this because i want to show you i'll show you my original design too because that's I, I had a few people asking about that so before i get let's go back to this one okay 
what I would change on this. First thing is you can go to resize. When you resize, it works just like Design Space in a sense that you can unlock it and change your dimensions. So change it to 11 by eight and a half. That will give you the 11, um, the long, you know, this way, and then eight and a half this way. Um, so that you know exactly this is what it prints out to look like. So you saw that here. This is literally that. And then fold it in the back and glued here and at the top and bottom. So what I would change about this is I would go, well, first, um, let's do it on this one so you can see how I did it. So I grab this and this by hitting the shift key so that you grab both things. And you see, I just made it smaller. And then as you move things in, the rest of the design is there. So if you only wanted half the heart, you could just move it here and that would, it would only print what's on, on the page. But anyway, so this is what I did. And you can play with this. So I'm gonna click outside here. And you know, I'm just gonna change this so you can see how easy it is to change the words. So you know, you could do something like this you can click on this and click on the color and i love this i mean because it shows you all the colors that are here but when you bring in something so for instance let me go to um i'm gonna go to instagram so then if you click on instagram you can see all your posts as well okay so i'm gonna bring in this random one just because it has specific colors okay so when I go to click on I love you now, it also brings in the colors of my photos. So it makes it so easy for me to, you know, just color coordinate everything and make it look very um, cohesive looking, you know, just a great, anyway, I'm gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how easy that was, okay? So here, down here, I'm gonna double click on it. And I think all I did was I changed it from I changed it to Charlotte. Okay, and then the text box, I mean, you can move it in or out. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. So originally I had it here, somewhere over here, but the E got folded around the bag. So kind of just looking at this, right? You know it's um, 11 inches, right? So you need about, let me measure this. So it's going to be about five inches in the center. And then what does that leave you? Three inches and three inches, right? So um, go in from here to three inches, it's gonna fold over about here. And then from here into three inches, it's gonna fold about here. So you can then figure out where your center is gonna be. So this, see this heart, it's going past the three inch. So this heart right here, <laughs> You can see it's gonna, it's not gonna show completely. So our options are to make the heart smaller and then move it in, a, oops, sorry, move it in a little bit more. So into maybe like right around here, then we know it will fit. And then here, this one, we can now, either you can make it smaller and you can move this right here. Or you know what, I think it would look better like that. Is it just me? I don't know. Now the thing that I would change is I wanna put the white borders, right? So um, I don't know, this is the way I would do it. I'm not an expert on Canva. I am <laughs> just fumbling my way around it. I'm gonna go to elements. Elements are your images. Um, so it's, they have a ton of images that you can type here, but what I want is just a simple shape. So, uh, oops, I just want a square. So did I click on it? What's going on here? There. Okay, so here's my square and I'm going to make it smaller. So my height, I probably want it maybe half, half an inch there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up here and then make it wide and change that to white. Then it's selected, so I'm gonna hit Control C and Control V, so copy and paste, and then I'm just gonna put it down here. 
Now we have the option too to make a little border right here, which I'm going to do. So now I'm gonna copy this, control copy, control paste, and then I'm gonna move it in from here. Hold on, let me move it over a little bit. So I'm gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna go to 0.5. Oh, 0.5 looks big. Did I do 0.5? Um, maybe not so consistent, but I'm going to be consistent with, oh, there, that looks, <laughs> okay, so here we go, and then I'm going to bring this one down all the way, and then I would just take this copy and paste it onto the other side. So to me, I think this, I would like this look a little bit more. That's going to look more like this with your white, oops, sorry, your white top and bottom and then your white center because it's going to be on the edge and then you fold over the edge and you're going to have that white line. So I guess also this is what chip bags look like, right? They have that white dividing line. So I've been trained to like that. <laughs> All right, then you just download. Um, once you download, it goes into your downloads, um, and then you go to print from there. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to download it and, you know, go with the suggested, but you can click on your pick list. So I do want a high quality image so you can see all the different options that you have. So, oh, you know what? I, I saw someone comment that you can do an SVG file from here. Okay, that's gonna be my next video. We're gonna mess around with that. But for now, <laughs> the PNG, that's what we want. We're gonna download it, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what that looks like when it's open. Okay, so I'm good here. So it's a zip file because I forgot I downloaded the other item as well, but let's just open it. And I probably want the second picture. Okay, so here it's opened, um, it opened up. This is, yeah, this is the one we designed with the white border. Okay, so when I go to click print, you just wanna make sure, so here is my Epson workforce. I did not like my printer for the longest time, but now I love it. It just depends on your printer set settings and then also the material that you're using. When I switched over to this photo paper, love it. Um, I also really love, I know I keep plugging them, but seriously, it makes such a difference. The Neato products, the Neato labels. Um, I get paid if you use my link. If you don't use my link, that's fine as well. Um, it's just a great product. So um, they don't pay me any more than that. I bought my own, I don't know, like 500 sheets of theirs um, just because I know I'm gonna use it. So anyway, uh, let's see. So pick glossy paper. Uh, photo size full page is that that's my only option okay print margins okay fit fill page I want it to print exactly like this okay so on here I've already picked everything but I also I don't know if this is right or not but I do this so I go in here and I look at my printer settings as well so um I want to go in here and then I want to click on here and um, manage. And I just wanna look at my printer preferences. And here I wanna click on, you know, glossy and all of that. So give me a second. Um, let's go to advanced. And I want borderless printing. I don't even know. But output quality, I want high quality. Um, print quality, 600 by 600. And then paper quality over here, glossy paper, color. Let's see if there's anything in advanced. Okay, we were already in there. So you just wanna make sure everything is in sync with the paper and what you're printing out. And then that's it, then you would print. And it comes out, like yesterday's picture that I took outside, that was no filter, um, no nothing. I think I uploaded it and um, just posted it to Instagram without I might have zoomed in, 
maybe that was the only thing I did, but I did not touch the color of that at all. That was like everything that you saw was real life. Um, okay, so we did this one. Let's go and do the one that I wanted to do. Where is it? This one. Okay, so this would be, oh my gosh. I have someone who told me that they were going to do, I think, a graduation bag. This would be so stinking adorable. So first of all, here's the picture, right? So let me go to uploads and see if I have a picture of my daughter that I can use. And I do. So I'm going to click on this. So once it goes in here, you can, you know, kind of click out everything else. And obviously I just saw this. Oh, oh, but see, look, when you put it in, it kind of fills it in. It looks good, right? So we, we're going to have to make this smaller though, because it's the chip bag and it needs to be inside. This needs to be smaller too. And so this one I would change to, let's say, dapple gray. Um, And her school is blue and white, so I'm gonna change my colors. Um, all right, and then this one. Um, oop, kindergarten, okay. And so I'm gonna click on this to make this smaller, oops. This one I'm gonna put up here, maybe. Okay, so these stars are kind of too big, right? And you can move these items front and back. So you see how the star is behind that? We could bring the stars up front and go forward. So very similar to design space. Um, so I find things like that so much, it's just so easy for me to just pick up and start doing. So I, love Canva. It's like a lifesaver. Okay, I'm going to make this smaller. This looks fine to me, but let's say I want to change the colors. I don't love these colors, so I can click on this. Um, Let me see. I think I can. Yeah, so I have the blue one selected, right? Let's say I really want to make it purple. I mean, just right. It's so stinking easy. I just... The yellow, maybe I'm gonna make it pink. Now this pink, I don't love this pink. So I think I can, where is it? Hmm, there should be, oh here. I'm like, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. I want it lighter. There, okay. So I like that. You can change it here. So you can start to see how easy it is to do this, right? And and then let's go to elements really quickly. Let's just say we wanted to do a school theme and we want like pencils, right? Look at all the things that you can bring in. It's so stinking cute. They have, you know, from cartoon-ish to like real pictures. It's just, I just love it, <laughs> as you could tell. Um, all right, so I brought in the pencil. Okay, let's see if we can. Sometimes you can change things within the within the image, like some other ones. Like I might be able to change the eraser, but when you click on it and nothing comes up here, you can't. So, but it's still pretty cute. And then if you wanted to change the bottom here, you can do what I did earlier, or you could just delete it and grab this and copy and paste it, right? And sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll make this smaller confetti. So let's say you wanted to do that. Then you can drop this down here, but you want it to go across. So I'm just going to control copy and paste, or control C and V, copy and paste again, and you know continue my, my border. Right? It's just so easy to design. Let's go back over here so that you can see some of the, 
Um, oh, and like I was saying, okay, so sorry, I'm all over the place. Let's say this one, we really like this, right? I know it's an unfinished design. We're gonna go to resize and you can click on something that's already preset here. So let's say I wanna change this to an Instagram story. It will automatically copy and resize it. And then when you download it, it's gonna fit perfectly on your screen when you go to post it as an Instagram story. So I love this for just any time that I'm you know, doing just a regular post, but then I wanna bring it into stories so that I can, um, you know, like for a YouTube link or something like that, you can go in there and change it. So it makes everything smaller. So for me, once I resize it, I do like to go in here and um, redesign it a little bit, but now I have the right sizing. All right, so I wanted to keep it short and simple. Um, let me know what else you want to see. I will be continuing to use Canva. Canva has a free version and then a paid version. One of the things that I did read um, is that the SVG stuff is from the paid one. So I have the paid version because I use it so much. I don't even know if I'm using the paid stuff or just the free stuff, but um, I just love it. All right, I know. <laughs> All right, let me know what you want to see. I will continue doing this. Thank you.